So I'm still in the process of narrowing down what the expectations are for the news videos. But we do got some news to go through and one of the one of the biggest excuse me, one of the biggest parts of the news is that we got an update on the backstage morale in WWE, which honestly was slacking earlier this year. And hearing that the backstage morale has pretty much never been higher and compared to how it was earlier in the year with Vince McMahon in power, it is like day and, and night and day where morale is actually uh, very much higher and that people are not so much afraid of, as the word was, getting fired for things that they can't control anymore and that there is more you know, creative freedom and, you know, just everything is in a better position that there is still growing pains, which were expected, but that WWE is in a lot better position morale, morally than they were, or at least WWE talent is in a better position morally than they were earlier in the year which is 100 times which is always great to hear you know as far as from a talent standpoint because you want the talent to be in a good state of mind mentally and physically and hearing that they're in a good position like the backstage morale is in a positive position is something as a fan that you always want to hear another simple update is that Basically, I I don't understand how this is actually news, but I figure it's worth talking about because of what happened at Full Gear on December on uh, November uh, November twelfth, thirteenth. So last weekend or two weeks ago, whatever it was that people still think that William Regal is actually done with AEW. I hate to break it to you, William Regal is not done with AEW, William Regal is not going anywhere, and whatever happened last week on Dynamite with him and Mox was just something that was going to happen either way and is not going to lead to William Regal going back to WWE. William Regal is not going back to WWE anytime soon. He is remaining with AEW and is not leaving AEW. And again, I can't believe that this is actually news because in my opinion, it should not be something that people were expecting to think as legitimate or something that could be something legitimate. And that's all I got to say about that. Something interesting, though, is that the WWE is looking to expand out the international events next year. And though the international trip to England last year was a success and more of a success than some may have expected, it will not be or it will not be where they're going next year or it may not be where they're going next year because where they're going next year is there are heavy rumors of a trip to India next year for a premium live event as apparently Drew McIntyre, ironically enough, the guy that I feature, chose to feature in this video or in this match, Drew McIntyre, has been pushing for a show in India to, uh, for a premium live event to go to India. And with that being said, there is said to be infrastructure and everything in place for them to take a trip to India next year. So there is nothing is confirmed as of right now, but 
it is said that if uh, the current rumor has it that the show in India would take place in January, which is ironic because I remember a couple of news videos ago where we talked about the idea of WWE doing something in uh, doing an international event uh, in January, a few days before the Royal Rumble. So it is entirely possible that that could be something that we see especially considering the fact that we know it is something that the company has been talking about or had been talking about um, leading into the rumble a few weeks for the last few months like the, it, it's something that we heard about before is what I'm saying but the big part is that we've also heard about the plans for we've also heard about the plans for next year and the WWE title picture with uh, from what I heard the showings from the showings from Kevin Owens and Sheamus specifically pointed to one or both those guys being future challengers for Roman Reigns. I am not disappointed by what we saw at the Survivor Series, even though I am surprised that, to a point, I'm surprised that the Bloodline did win. I am not surprised because they went a different direction and I'm happy that they went the different direction because the different direction actually worked better than my thought process or the thought process that I had that they could go for that picture. Um, because I thought that they would go with the baby faces to start seizing the tension within the bloodline that way, but they went a different way to try and, you know, stretch it out a little bit longer before they start showing you know before they start showing uh tension within the bloodline where now Sami Zayn is finally accepted by the bloodline because that is something that they actually needed to do first and I totally totally forgot about that that he was never officially accepted by the bloodline so now going the route of him being officially accepted would actually help build a little bit more suspense and build a little bit more emotion into that feud or story before paying it off. But it does seem like we might be hitting the line where they may pay it off sooner rather than later. But I do think that Sheamus will get the title shot first because the plan seems to be based on, I believe, WrestlingNews.com or Wrestling Inc. or one of those websites. It uh, They basically told the story that Kevin Owens will likely get the title shot at Royal Rumble, and then Sami Zayn will likely get the title shot at Elimination Chamber because the reason for that is that Elimination Chamber is going to be taking place in Montreal, Quebec, which is Sami's hometown of Montreal, Quebec. So it would give Sami the biggest opportunity to be featured in, a more, in, in the most prominent position and get the biggest babyface re uh, reaction being in the world title match with Roman Reigns at the Elimination Chamber in his hometown of Montreal. So this does with the picture that Wrestling News was with the picture that Wrestling News was painting, it does lean to the idea of it does lean to the idea of what I talked about in or uh, what's the best way to put it? That it, it, it basically points to the idea of, yeah, WrestlingNews.co. WrestlingNews.co was the one that reported it, that Kevin Owens is penciled in for Roman Reigns against the Royal... Uh, uh, Pe uh, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble, Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber which does point to the idea of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens going against the Usos at WrestleMania. Again, 
they need to do the best possible plans for the Royal Rumble to make the Royal Rumble well above what happened last year because, number one, it is the first Royal Rumble without Vince McMahon. And with how bad the Royal Rumble last year was received, not the Royal Rumble card overall, but the Royal Rumble match specifically, that the better the card, the less the expectations are for the Royal Rumble because the less pressure the Rumble has on it, the better the card is. So it is good to see, but I think that the plans that we see right now for Roman Reigns heading into WrestleMania lean to more likely Sammy and Kevin against the Usos at WrestleMania rather than Roman Reigns against Sammy, Kevin, or Jimmy, or Jay. Which then still leaves Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, and The Rock as possible opponents for Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But I like these plans for the Bloodline and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens going into 2023 because it leads to my idea for Sami versus Jey Uso rather than the simple idea for Sami and Jay. But either way, let me know your thoughts on these topics and everything wrestling down below in the comment section. And if you're liking this series or content like this, let me know down on the uh, let me know you can let me know that by leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment. Whatever any interactions on these videos do help and are very much appreciated because they get us noticed more by the algorithm. So let us win the fight against the algorithm and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, whatever you want to do, anything and everything do help. But for your sake, don't forget before you go to ding dong that notification bell next to the subscription box to always know when a new video is up on the channel. And until next time, see you again soon.